Hey guys, um, in this video today I'll be going through some AS physics and in particular be concentrating on the photoelectric effects. Um, these three symbols that I've noted down here, if you don't know them already, please do pause the screen, make a note of them. Um, if you do know them, please again do make a note, just remind yourselves of what they are. So when I do explain what the photoelectric effect is, you're not confused. Um, okay, so let's begin what the photoelectric effect is. And when I teach this, I normally teach it using this diagram here, but I find that students find it very hard to understand the core concepts of what is actually happening. So what I'll do today is I'll use an analogy, what I normally use, and then I'll teach that first, and then I'll teach it the textbook way, so it makes more sense, okay? So, first of all, what I'll say is, imagine a man standing on a diving board, like so, and he's getting ready to jump into a swimming pool over here. Now, when this man... The more sunny it is, the more energy he has. Okay, and in this st stage, I'll call it step one, there's no sun out. So he has absolutely no energy. He's standing on the diving board, but he has no energy to kind of push the diving board down and jump into the swimming pool. Now say, for instance, the sun comes out. The man gets happy and so he's able to kind of... Sorry, I'll just draw this a bit more neatly. So he has more energy and he's able to push the diving board down like so. So now he's at the stage where he's kind of ready to jump from the diving board. He's just got enough energy now from the sun where he's ready to jump off the diving board. Now let's say it gets even hotter. It's now 12 o'clock in the afternoon where it's absolutely baking hot. The man gets more happy. He's absolutely astounded by this weather because now he's got more energy in him. So what happens? He jumps from the diving board. Okay, I hope you've understood these three steps and I'll try and relate these three steps back to this photoelectric effect just to make sure it makes sense. So, now imagine a <clears throat> metal surface with electrons within them. And say these electrons, they get more happy when they receive more energy. Okay, and now let's sh so, um, sorry, shine a light source onto the metal surface. I represent the energy within the light source by this red dashes. Now, there will be an energy transfer taking place where the energy from the photons will be transferred to the electrons. So this energy will be transferred to the electrons. And what happens? They become excited. They begin to vibrate and they're having a great time with all this energy. And if I was to relate this to step two, when the electron energy is just where they're about to kind of jump out of this surface, this frequency of light is known as the threshold frequency. So we write down E is equal to HF naught, where F subscript naught is the threshold frequency, where the electrons have just got enough energy to kind of release from the surface, metal surface. And relating back to step two, where the diving man, where the man who's diving has kind of just got enough energy to push the diving board down and is ready to jump. Here the electrons are now ready to jump from out of the metal surface and this is known as the threshold frequency of the light okay so now what happens let's increase the energy the light source energy so let's make it more brighter or so so we increase this energy like so so more energy is now transferred into the electrons and what happens they start to jump out the surface and relating this back to three this one here the man had enough energy in step two. We increased the energy and then he was able to now jump from the diving board. Same case here, the electrons had just enough energy to kind of jump, but not enough to jump out of the surface. We increased the light source energy and now more energy is transferred to the electrons and now they gain the extra energy. And what happens? They have enough energy to jump out of the surface. So what we do is we write in this case, so this was for step two, and for step three, we would say E is equal to HF naught plus they gain some kinetic energy. So we write down EK. Okay, now the first case scenario is the most easiest case. When there's not enough energy, what happens? The man is just standing there. What he's doing is just heating up this diving board surface from the weight of his body or the friction from his legs. He's just basically heating up this diving board surface. In the same case here, when the photon energy is not high enough, what happens is it basically just heats up this metal surface here. The metal surface just gets heated up. Okay, so that's what basically the photoelectric effect is. Um, 
I'll try and go into a little bit more detail and explain some of the terms they use. Um, the process whereby the electron is released from the surface is known as the photoelectric emission. It's known as photoelectric emission. So photoelectric emission. And the electron which is released is known as a photoelectron. Okay, and relating back to step two, this energy here, okay, is known as the work function. And what the work function is, I'll give a definition from the textbook I'm using, is the minimum energy required to release the electron. Okay, is called the work function. So this is basically step two again. So the energy the man must have to kind of push the diving board down but not, not enough, not to have enough energy to push himself off the diving board. So the work function is the energy the man has where he's just able to push the diving board down and nothing more. And that's known as the work function. And it's given a symbol like so. Okay, so two can equally be written as like so. And therefore three can therefore be written as E is equal to that plus e k. Please don't get confused with this e and this e. This is the think of this as the threshold. This is the threshold frequency, and therefore think of this as the threshold energy. This is not threshold energy. This is threshold energy with f naught. This is threshold frequent. This is basically threshold energy plus the kinetic energy. Okay, so I hope this helps with in terms of understanding what the photoelectric effect is. Please leave some comments for improvements. And I hope I've helped. Um, have a great day. Check out my other videos and goodbye.